Here we are post game on 609sports.net with a smiling Craig Childs. Four goals and an assist. Soccer's win it 13 to 2. Craig, uh, I thought Tijuana was supposed to give you guys a huge game tonight. Uh, you know, I think we were overly prepared for this game. Uh, maybe we made up a couple rumors that they wanted to really beat us at home. And so we were, we had a fire lit under us. We knew we were going to come out, jump on them from the get go. And, uh, and kind of put a couple of the points, things out of out of reach, and get it out of the way so we can continue to play. Uh, for yourself, you knew coming in, one goal would be 100 in your PASL career. You got that goal uh, right away, essentially blasted one home from outside the crease, and then boom, boom, tied the league record, passed the league record before the first quarter was over. Yeah, it was exciting. Uh, good first quarter for me. It was nice to get all that stuff out of the way behind us and. You know, the team's really starting to click. We're gelling together. We're playing very good soccer right now. And, uh, you know, we're probably going to have a hard week of training. We're going to make sure we stay fit, um, get some conditioning in. We heard we play Cincinnati in the Open Cup. So, you know, we're excited to keep this uh, train rolling. 31 in a row at home and just a terrific crowd tonight. It seemed like the energy in the arena, really from the opening kickoff, was electric. Yes. Yeah, I think this was one of the best draws of, of the season so far. A lot of fans, a lot of screaming fans. We had a ton of support um, come up to the Anaheim game yesterday, and we totally appreciate that. We see all these uh, familiar faces coming out to back-to-back -to -back games. There's a lot of diehard fans, and we appreciate that as players, and it makes us want to fight harder out there on the field for them. I know it's uh, almost a broken record. We talked about it last night too, Craig, but the defense and the goalkeeping. Back-to-back uh, -back starts for Chris Toth, and he just seems to be getting sharper, more confident, fewer rebounds being conceded, uh, making great saves as well as routine saves, and then the shorthanded defense, two shorthanded goals today and no power plays allowed. Yeah, yeah, defense wins championships. Uh, we kind of know that. A lot of teams can score goals. Uh, not a lot of teams can score goals and shut other teams out. So our defense is doing very well. I think our defensive power play is as uh, threatening as our offensive power play right now. So that's something maybe we need to work on a little. But I mean, we have a lot of defensive tools, a lot of threatening players coming out of the back with Diego and Farber Speed and, uh, and Eddie and Miguel too. So I mean, we, we kind of have a couple guys up front, me and Seuss, that yeah, we could finish the ball from five yards out, no problem. If you want to sprint up the field, beat two or three players and, and lay us up, we'll take it all day. So we got a lot of uh, talented players, and if they want to try and cut a couple players out of the mix, then there's tons of players that are going to fill in, score the goals, and play the good defense. All right, now what's the mindset? Last question for you, Craig. Uh, team's going to go on a trip to Monterey, uh, an international exhibition tournament coming up here uh, next weekend in Mexico. It doesn't count to the Paso. It doesn't count to, to the U.S. Open Cup or anything like that, but uh, as the team gets ready for this international trip, what's, what are the thoughts of the boys? Uh, you know, we're taking this trip fairly serious. We know we have a few games lined up, uh, and they're going to be good games. Monterey Flash is going to be a very good team. Um, we're going to play a team we've probably never heard of or seen, and we're going to play, I believe, either Calgary or Edmonton, um, who we've seen in the last few years. So we're excited to get over there. I think most important thing for the squad is to stay healthy and fit, um, no, try not to pick up any injuries down there, and trying to pick up four wins and, uh, and come back safe. Yeah, no injuries, no viruses. Come on back yeah, safe, and yeah. if you can get some wins, even better. Yep. All right, Craig, congratulations. Another great game tonight. Thank you. the field postgame coverage, San Diego Soccer's 13-2 win over Revolución Tijuana. Here's the shorthanded star, Diego Rivera. Two goals and an assist tonight. Uh, Diego, let's talk about this penalty-killing unit. Uh, it seems like the last few games you guys have been on fire. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good run. I mean, when you have one of the fastest guys in the league up top, it's pretty, pretty nice. Everyone kind of looks his way. Um, it kind of opens it up for some of the, some of the rest of us. But Zay, uh, Zay Roberto, Farber, Scotty, Velez, you know, we've just been super strong in the back. I think uh, I think we've I think we've scored as many or really close to the the power play unit. So it's been great. Diego, second straight game that you open the scoring for San Diego. Get that first goal of the game. It was a pretty header last night in Anaheim. Talk about the goal, first goal today. Uh, come on, Craig. Third. Remember Phoenix. Yeah, oh, good call, good call, uh, third on. in a row, you're right. Yeah, no, you know what, it, it's uh, kind of been one of those uh, the streaks where the ball just kind of landed on my uh, on my left foot today and uh, was able to kind of tuck down away, and it's been a good run, you know, this past, uh, these past few weeks, and just want to keep, keep uh, pushing through. I know that you came back after missing the first four games, Diego, but still that left ankle wasn't quite right. You were telling me at training it still hurt to shoot. Are you feeling a little bit better now? Because the, the results make it look like you are. Yeah, it's, it's definitely feeling a lot better. I think 
think I came back a little too soon, and um, I really wasn't my, I wasn't, I wasn't really 100% at all, and I'm still not, but it is getting better. So, uh, um, you know, I feel like I'm getting stronger. It's uh, the pain's a little less, uh, not not as bad. So, um, definitely getting better, and I feel like you know, I want to start peaking pretty soon as we get into the playoffs. What an emphatic statement by this team tonight, uh, Revolution. A lot of talk that we heard in practice through Eduardo Velez about uh, what kind of game they were going to give the team tonight, and and you guys just flat blew them out. Yeah, they're a great team. You know, we we came out strong, we came out sharp, and just we ran right at them. And I think they weren't really expecting that. Um, I know uh, I heard some people saying you know they were talking a lot of trash coming up and they wanted to beat us at home, but uh, you know luckily we uh, we came out strong and uh, kind of showed who the who the top team of this league is. And how about the depth of this team? Eight games in 22 days. Phil Salvaggio managing the roster, shuffling guys in and out here at there. Susie didn't play last night. Comes back today. Great game. Goal, three assists. Seems like Phil's just pushing all the right buttons to keep this team fresh. Yeah, this team so deep. You can plug any player in, and they they, they do their job. You can step up. It's uh, we don't miss a beat. You know when other players come in. I mean, we have a lot of guys that are hurt right now, and other players stepping in and doing a great job. So um, it's it's really nice having such a great, such a deep team. Congratulations, Diego, and a great game. Thanks.